Are you the type that always prays asking God for a way out? Are you the type that is always casting and binding and praying that prosperity should locate you? Are you the type that is always going from crusade to crusade, begging God with a job? I have a word for you. But before I will go into this, I have to say good afternoon to all my wonderful subscribers, my viewers. Thank you for joining me on today's topic. In case you're watching me for the first time, my name is Chiege and you're on Chiege's World. I have just mentioned all these things, the questions I just asked all of you. And if you happen to fall into this category of people, I have just one word for you. Same it. It is good to pray, no doubt. It is good to go from crusade to crusade, worshipping God and asking for what you want. No doubt, it is good. But the thing is, prayer without work is useless. It is completely dead. That is the harsh and bitter truth that I have for you today. It's even in the Bible, when you pray without faith, without work, to aid your prayers, it is completely useless. So, in case you are one of these people I just mentioned, after praying, what I want you to do is to get up, dress up, and show up. Because you need to begin to look for that job. You need to begin to interact with people. You need to start mixing up with people and start discussing. You need to take that your CV to know where to submit them. Or another way you need to develop your skills and start making use of it. Because all of us are gifted and talented in one way or the other. Praying without work is useless. You can cast from morning till night, binding all the bindings you can do, without putting in work into that. It is completely useless. I have seen a lot of people praying all the time, telling you I'm always praying, begging God to give me a job, yet they don't get up to seek for that job. They don't go anywhere seeking for job solution. They, don't, they have talent, they have their skills, but they don't want to develop it. Even when that job comes, they will still not take that job. They will find one excuse or the other, or they will have reason not to take that particular job. Maybe majority of them can feel that that job is too degrading for them to do, yet they keep calling on God to bless them with a job. The thing is, God has answered our prayers. The, the next thing left for us to do is to make use of ourselves. No matter the prayer you make, asking for a job, and you are still not ready to go and look for that job, the job will not come because the job is already there waiting for you to tap on it. You can't say you might go there and you will not be taken. Who told you? With all the prayers you've been making, you think God will just allow them not to look at you? You think God will not allow you to find favor in their sight for them to actually give you that job which you've been looking for? You think God has not, you think God has not been, or you think he hasn't answered your prayers? Of course, God has answered your prayers and is waiting on you to make a move. There are things we human beings can do for ourselves that God cannot do it for us. That is just the truth. He has done his part. It is left for us to do our part. And what is that our part? To get up, show up, and be able to attract that which you want to attract. Okay? So I want to tell you that if you are that type that is always praying from morning till night, going from crusade to crusade, casting, binding, and all that, I want you to know that you have been answered. The next thing is for you to get up yourself, bring yourself up, go to that place, start looking for that solution by submitting your CV or start developing your skills. Any of these things will click for you. When you start looking for that job, you will surely get a job. Or when you develop your skills, you will surely get something going on that people will begin to demand for your assistance, people will begin to demand for your help, people will begin to demand and even pay just to have you provide that thing for them because of your skills. Stop sitting down there, telling everyone who cares to listen to you that you've been praying for this to happen to you. Meanwhile, you haven't been making any move. You need to make a move. And don't be afraid of failure. Even if you make the first move and you weren't taken, or you made the first move and you fail, don't, be, don't, don't lose hope. God is still there. Don't lose hope. Don't use because of the two attempts you made and you decide to go back again into your shell. No, because even if you decide to go back into your shell, that will be the worst thing you can do to yourself because who will do that for you? Who will train your children for you? Who will give you what you want? The truth is, you have to be the one to provide all that. The world itself, people in it are also struggling in one way or the other, trying to provide solutions to their own problems. So no one 
people will leave their own problems to carry your own problems. You have to get up. You have to remove fear in you. You have to go out there. You have to mix up with people. You have to interact with people. You have to show yourself. Sometimes when you show yourself, you may not be the one they are looking for. But because you are God's favorite child, when you decide to show yourself, they will call you. They will give you that job. They will have you fill in the gap that they have been looking for someone to fill up for them. Because of what? Because you showed up. So showing up matters. It is very, very important in our life. Okay? So next time, after your prayer, please make use of those prayers you've already made by going out and looking for that job. Make sure you're actually doing it. Many people will tell you, I've been looking for a job, I've not been getting any, anything. Meanwhile, they haven't done anything. You can lie to people, but you cannot lie to God and to yourself. Because you know the truth. We may not know the truth, but you know the truth. So the best thing is to ask all those prayers. Stop making God a liar. Get yourself up and move out. Start looking for that solution here and there. It is there. You will surely get it. There is no way you will visit, let's just say, 10 places and you will not receive at least two out of those 10 places telling you to come and take up a position or having you to fill up a gap for them that they have been looking for, for someone to do for them. There is no way you will not get something because those prayers have already gone ahead of you to level all the mountains for you. Then the next is for you to get yourself up and show up and be able to occupy your position. I hope this short topic I treated today will go straight into you and make a good sense to you so that you will look inward, shake yourself and begin from today to get up, dress up and show up. I hope you love this teaching of today and if you do, please give me a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and if there's anything you want me to treat, please endeavor to comment down on my comment section. Let me know that which you want me to treat. The next topic I'm going to bring up again is one of the things we can be doing to be able to be constantly attracting success and favor into our life. So you stay tuned until I bring it up. But for now, I have to say, take care of yourself. Remember to get up, dress up, and show up all the best.